So let's start by disabling audio input and looking for LLM jailbreaking publications. So I disabled audio input because I want to talk while it's doing its thing. It's going to take like two minutes. So let's explain what it's doing. So it's calling Arxiv search with this particular query to find a couple of papers on the subject and then we'll try to do a study on these papers. Okay, so we have a few papers. I know the first three at least. Yeah, so let's let's try to do a comparative study on the first three. Um, let's go. So this is where it gets interesting. So now it's going to download the papers from Arxiv and upload them into a retrieval into a retrieval augmented generation system and then it's going to query the another llm with uh, the question that i asked but with the papers in the context so let's take that that will take a solid 60 80 seconds it's not the fastest drag and it's tiny it can only take a couple meg a couple thousand megabytes maybe but it's still useful for early research and i'm just starting so it can read pdfs pretty well at least way better than python can with uh, pypdf module this can actually output correct mathematical formula formulas for one. Yeah. So now it's loaded. It loaded the papers and it's going to take another 20 ish seconds to do the to execute this particular prompt. Oh, I'm sorry, this one. So the prompt to the rag is actually generated by the JPT4 that's driving the whole tool chain, the entire toolkit. So the whole system is built on top of like five different machine learning models. And one of them is responsible for talking to the user and deciding on what to do and what to call, including other models. And also for generating prompts for these models and also for synthesizing the results back uh, for for the user. This is slower than usual, but can take a couple minutes sometimes. And this is a bit scripted. I ran this particular query a, bit, a couple of times, but it's pretty much solid, this flow. It's not like I'm choosing the one that works. Pretty much works the same way regardless of what I'm researching at the moment. Yeah, that's a bit longer than normal. So the whole thing, this research module is built on top of um, OpenAI Assistant's API. And yeah, we have results. So these are the common things that it found in the papers. So effectiveness of prompt structures, automated generation. This is a big, actually big item in the two of these papers at least, yeah. So these results, as far as I can tell, are pretty good. 
they are not perfect but for a first uh, look at the paper it's way faster than if you'd normally than if you had to read the papers yourself so it's still useful for for a start so that's it